much do you think the game has changed uh, since when you played to where is that right now, and, and is it good or bad? I think that it's uh, it's moved more from the physicality part into show business. I mean, the, these late hit panels, I just, just I mean, well, annoying. you're basically paying the play. Like, that, guys yeah. are making business deals now on yeah. if they want to play the game violent mm -hmm. or not pay this fine. I, I don't want to pay this fine. So you're making these decisions in the middle of plays, and you're costing your teammates championship. You're costing – because the game puts it on the player, which is not fair. I think they should evaluate that, get the, get, make the rules – they make up rules every week. The game has changed however they want to yeah. make it. I yeah. don't think that's fair on the player, and the player has to pay for that. Because people see it in slow-mo. But, you know, you're there. You're, you're attacking the ball. And you can't slow down. No, One I'm, second slowing down, that's you getting hurt over the next. So it's a very fast game, a very violent game. And I think we could cancel all the conversation out if you just guarantee the contracts. If you guarantee the contracts, the, the, the fans, the players, they don't have a problem with doing We've been doing this for cheap for 100 years. Yeah. Even though guys say we're paying this, we're getting paid this much, the owners are making billions and billions, and TV deal billions and billions. I think this year in baseball, Kevin Griffey Jr. is going to be the fifth highest paid Cincinnati Red on the roster. He's been, he's been long retired because they guarantee his contract. Oh, to yeah. pay for the rest of his yeah, that's you know, or a smart for X amount of uh, years. That was a smart deal. So, so you, you know, you know the the money behind football better. So, so what's 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 uh, how come they're not guaranteeing the contracts? I mean, if they sign a you know you sign a let's say a hundred million dollar uh, uh, deal and it's uh, fully guaranteed because right now as it stands, if we as the fans see a hundred million dollar contract being signed in 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 your mind, well, what's guaranteed? I see forty eight. Off off forty eight percent. I see forty-eight million. When you say a hundred, I see what the players taking. Help me do the math. What's the math behind that? Fifty percent. Yeah, what you just said. Okay. It's forty-eight percent, but I'm halving it already because you're getting taxes taken out. You're going to get a lot of money deducted after that. So you got to count that half already. You never, the player never sees that number. That's the difference. A basketball player, a baseball mm. player, yeah. they're, if they don't see that number, their family's going to see the number. And football player, half of that is done. So you're posing and you're living like you had that number. Yeah. You don't have that number. You went and spent most of that stuff thinking you had this number, and then you get cut, like Ezekiel Elliott. Who's going to take up the rest of this contract? They only paid you $28 million for a $90 million contract. That's right. You look good for a couple years, but now you're, you're out there stuck with your 28, and the 28 got taxed too. Yeah. That was your guarantee. Yeah, of, right. So... I just think it's all monopoly money, and it's uh, it's uh, so now he's cut. He's a free agent, so he now he has to start from scratch all over again. So or, whatever uh, the team's gonna pay him. Yes, because he's cut. They, yeah. they can't. They, they can't. So that that cut that the team they may have some what dead cap uh, dead cap type yeah. of money they have to pay still. Yeah. But. So they'll probably do like a one year deal or to make him prove himself again. And that's the yeah. hardest. You talking about being a pro bowler and yeah. all this, and and the team cuts you and your value now goes to. Yeah. Now you go from making ten million dollars per season. Yeah. To six fifty or a million two. Yeah. You wanna you gonna start asking yourself, is it worth me playing football? Is that what Erlacher went through? Because I know that's what they're trying to. That's what a lot of guys, yeah. Fitzgerald, Erlacher, uh, a lot of guys. Once you feel like I've been playing, I've been paid as a prize horse my whole career. I'm not about to go and get what a donkey takes. Like, <laughs> not not like that. Sure. But but when, that's the real guys don't. Once you like Mike Tyson say, you fight different in silk sheets. Once you felt them silk sheets, man, it's hard to go back out and do that. And yeah. you, you got to weigh, do I have enough money to quit or do I got to go back and do another? Yeah. And that's where guys are making decisions. But right now the league has a problem because guys are becoming smarter. Guys, the entrepreneurship in them, the yeah. NIL deals, uh, they're getting into business faster. So guys are really using this as an opportunity to come in and have an exit plan at, at – three to five or, or five to eight max right. and say grab as much money as you can because the severity of this sport is not paying out for what it's worth. Like 
So let me, Patrick Willis, that's one of the guys still should be playing, but he had the resume to say, let me put together this many six Pro Bowls, eight Pro Bowls back to back. Okay, I've done enough. You got the, uh, the, so the uh, linebacker? The linebacker yeah, yeah, 49, for, for great Nash. talent. Yeah. I was sad that he retired, but I got it. And then you see yeah. Luke Keekley. He could have played longer, but guys are getting smarter. They're knowing that, okay, I got a good career. I, they know when to call it. Calvin Johnson, I had a great career early. I don't have to go play 13, 14 years. And yeah. then contracts aren't not guaranteed. I can yeah. make, in this market today, with a yeah. good image, yeah. with a golden jacket, mm -hmm. man, you got offer. You got deals to turn down all day. Hey man, how much is Brady gonna? How much is Brady gonna get just to talk? Three was it? Three hundred mil? Three fifty, yeah, I just, thought. Three uh, three fifty in one year. Check. <laughs> <laughs> so his entire playing career summarized in one broadcasting. One year. man. <laughs> <laughs> when you're uh, think about the game of football today, I mean, your son. I mean, you're showing me pictures of your son. I mean, he's, he's a big boy. I mean, yeah. is, is he as big as you now? Almost, at, at yeah. The, what, almost 13, bigger. 14? Yeah, 14. Yeah. <laughs> he's a big boy. Yeah, he's huge. Would you advise him to play uh, football? I don't advise him to play football, but I didn't allow him to play football until he wanted to make that decision. If he was, if he was getting scouts looking at him, and, uh, and it was that between that and basketball or, or, or another sport, uh, if, let's say your son is equally talented in, in basketball, football. He, he is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, would you guide him to one sport over the other, and, and why? No, I, I I would allow him to make his own decision. Like my my parents stayed out of my business. I didn't have the parents that hovered me, took me to practice, went. To, if my parents came to a game, I was happy. You know, that what was I'm so saying? cool to see you getting drafted. I remember that day they drafted you. My dad you. was shouting. You're, you're at home. Oh yeah, yeah my on the dad couch. Was you're like, they, they used to play his video. <laughs> they used to play his video of him dancing and shouting around. But yeah, man. Um, I just really feel like at this time with what we know in today, yeah. in 2023, watching Will Smith do a beautiful job with concussions, seeing the information that comes out about, it's not a game to me. And then at the end of football, the worst is when the fans go away and the guys got to go find out how I'm going to pay for what I just done to my body. Yeah. The NFL doesn't help you. You're going to have to chase down, just like a VA, a person from the VA. You're going to have to show these people what you did to me, and they're going to look for You got dudes with concussions that they're putting out looking for paperwork and dates to be somewhere. And it's like set up to yeah. be – it was the worst, the most frustrating, frustrating thing I had to do with trying to receive my disability was going back every week trying to explain yeah. what they did to me. Yeah. And yeah. I thought I was being compensated on the back end. So yeah. I want to tell every young man that goes in there from day one, whatever they get a copy of, whatever yeah. they take of you or of your x-rays, your MRI, you get a copy of. Yeah. And you store all that data until you're finished, and that's going to be worth something. That's, that's one thing Reggie White told me from day one when I first got in. And that's it helped it. me. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.